introducing our first speaker, Derek Wallace. Derek is a Vice President at the LoRa Alliance, the world's fastest growing technology alliance that has grown to more than 500 members since its inception in 2015. Its members closely collaborate to promote and drive the success of the LoRaWAN protocol as the leading open global standard for secure carrier grade IoT LP1 connectivity. At LoRa Alliance, Derek is focused on promoting greater awareness and adoption of LoRaWAN technology throughout the global IoT space. In his presentation today, Derek will focus on the global expansion of LoRaWAN and IoT and their role in helping a world in crisis, particularly as we navigate the COVID-19 pandemic. I will now hand over to you, Derek. Fantastic. Okay. Well, hello, everyone. Uh, as Laura said, my name is Derek Wallace. I'm the Vice President of uh, Marketing for the Laura Alliance, and it is my pleasure to talk to you today about the Laura Alliance and LoRaWAN technology and how it's, as Laura said, helping fight COVID-19 today and also uh, tomorrow. A little bit about Laura Alliance. We are an open nonprofit technology association where our goal is to promote the awareness and adoption of LoRaWAN technology around the world. We also strive and work very hard to ensure that LoRaWAN is an open and interoperable uh, specification. I spent a lot of time uh, working with companies around the world. And I'll take a little step back just to also put the LoRaWAN in its proper place. So LoRaWAN is actually at the communication layer. It really governs the use of LoRa technology when it's in operation. So LoRa at the physical layer, the chip layer stands for long range. And LoRa is a wireless communication technology it's a spread spectrum technology that operates below the noise floor. And it is particularly well suited for IoT because it does some things extremely well. It has very low power uh, consumption. And that means with IoT in particular, that assets or sensors that are out there in the world can operate for many years on battery. It has very long range as hence the name, and it can penetrate buildings and cement and metal and, and even underground and it also operates at very low cost. Lower Alliance is five years old, and we have over 100 million sensors deployed out there in the world today. And that's deployed, not just modules being shipped out, that's sensors out there in the world deployed, helping serve IoT use cases. And we have an amazing ecosystem of Lower Alliance members around the world. Um, get rid of that, thank you. Um, so we have, um, Companies like in and uh, they are one of our leaders in the Lower Alliance. They are very active. They have some incredible solutions and they're great guys uh, and ladies to work with. I've been working with in for years. We're also very happy that we, as you see on the right side of the screen, we have some um, more recent leadership additions to Lower Alliance because we are, as Laura said, the fastest growing technology alliance in history. And now more and more large companies, well-known companies around the world are also joining, not only just joining Laura Alliance, but joining in roles of leadership. Now, Laura Wan is exploding globally around the world. And these next slides really just kind of go into that. So there are 143 Laura network operators around the world at our last count. And you can see in the last couple of years that the growth trend is, is really getting strong. And that makes sense as IoT is starting to mature, even though we're really still in the beginning stages. There are 161 countries with lower WAN networks around the world with really good growth, and that's just going to keep going up, even though at some point we'll be saturating the world in yellow lower WAN. Uh, those are private and public lower WAN networks or a combination of both. And then we have at last count, 275 LoRaWAN certified devices, the most for any LP WAN technology out there in the world. And LP WAN, by the way, stands for Low Power Wireless Access Network Technology. And the LoRa Alliance only promotes certified devices because it's very important for us and for consumers of IoT uh, solutions out in the world because certified devices have gone through the rigorous testing through that certification process to become lower one certified. It means it's gonna perform exactly as it should according to the specification. So it's gonna be very low power con consumption. So those, those batteries can last, those sensors can last for years and years at a time. It's gonna 
use the security that's inbuilt and inherent in LoRaWAN technology, and it's going to get that performance through many, many miles of distance or through buildings and cement and other ground. Um, it, we're really quite pleased with that. So LoRaWAN, it's growing. It's out there in the world, and it's just it's 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 got a very good future. And um, it it's already it's also very adaptive. So it's helping fight COVID-19 today. Um, and I really like this slide because it's a really positive message. Now, I took this slide from Mike Moran of MicroShare, another one of our members doing really excellent work with LoRaWAN technology. Mike was part of our commercial real estate in a COVID-19 world webinar we did a couple uh, months ago. And I took this slide because it has a really positive message that's very true. COVID-19, you know, we're fighting back with LoRaWAN and IoT around the world, and pandemics are inevitable. You know, they've been around there, they'll, they'll come back again, but their demise is inevitable as well. And IoT and smart cities and smart building professionals have been proposing lower wind solutions for years now, as you can see from the growth of uh, uh, the, the technology out in the market. And these solutions are going to help make the new normal, whatever that's going to be, because I don't even like that phrase that much, less abnormal. And those, many of those solutions are going to help make the world a safer, more efficient, and sustainable place. And in fact, uh, like I said, LoRaWAN is helping uh, fight COVID-19, and it has been for several months. A few months ago, there were several governments around the world that started asking for help. They, they put out calls for technology solutions to help fight COVID-19. And our members from around the world uh, really led the charge in responding. And this slide just gives you some of the examples of solutions in different areas uh, that our members have created to help fight COVID-19. You can see at the top, uh, NNNCO, in partnership with WMB, um, created a private proximity monitoring solution. Cabinet group in the middle with the medical gas valve. So that's basically, that's measuring the content, the, the content, the amount of oxygen that are in the gas cylinders, in the cylinders, and the quality of that oxygen as they treat COVID-19 patients around the world. And then there's water treatment facility um, solution that's being created by my devices. Now, as I said, this is just a slice of some of the solutions that we've created. Well, when I say we, our members have created and offered up to the world. And if you want to learn more about these solutions, at the bottom left, there is a, a link to our website that really advertised shows the, uh, the, the range of those use cases. And this is, this is my last slide. And it's, it's also positive, but it, it, it's, it's also for me, it's, it's a bit exciting. Now, with what's happening in the world of COVID and what we're learning and my conversation with analysts, I speak to analysts virtually every week uh, in technology and IoT. And we all are pretty much of the same opinion that COVID-19 is definitely going to have a short-term impact. I mean, we're all being impacted by COVID-19 around the world and in different stages of impact. And it's clearly having um, a detrimental effect to the deployment of IoT solutions and the advancement of digital transformation. But what's also really interesting is as, uh, as we move on, um, that in a post-COVID-19 world, cities, companies, service providers, they're going to have to prove that public places and indoor buildings where people congregate are going to be healthy and safe for members of the public. And this and all the things that we're learning and have learned through COVID-19 are really going to create this paradigm shift of IoT solutions, digital transformation solutions, and lower WAN helping enable that to go from a nice to have to a must have. And it's gonna create disruption and disruption can be scary, um, but also can be really exciting. And um, it also creating enormous opportunities and jobs that didn't exist. And I put three examples here from the left of um, the industrial revolution to the advent of the automobile and to the introduction of computers and what society looked like before and after. And with COVID-19, we know it's going to be transformative in, in the way our world is. And we don't know the full extent yet. But IoT, digital transformation, they're going to have a very important role to play to help automation, to help um, our frontline workers be safe as they serve us and 
smart cities, sustainable uh, communities, et cetera. Um, lower WAN and IoT is going to have a big role to play, and all of us will have a role. Individuals, public and private entities, and government. And um, it's going to be a very exciting future. And with that, I will hand off to our rest of our speakers, and I thank you very much uh, for your time today. Fantastic. And Thank I you so stop. much, Derek. Some, um, some really insightful and really prudent observations there and some really interesting work um, that is coming about um, as a result of COVID-19. Um, now, delegates, just to let you all know, Derek is actually joining us from Minneapolis. So um, he actually won't be taking part in our panel later today because it is very, very late for him. But rest assured, I can see that some questions have come through for Derek. We will make sure that we forward those on to his office and they will be responded to at, at a slightly more sensible time for Derek.